We will discuss the causes of a slow pulse when it requires treatment and what the treatment is if a slow pulse persists. A normal pulse ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. The pulse defines heart rate, and a slow heart rate means a slow pulse, which is called bradycardia. Some people naturally have a slower pulse. For example, slim and young individuals commonly have a lower pulse. Athletes may have a pulse of 50 or even lower, which can be normal due to their efficient hearts. A slow pulse does not always require treatment. If there are no symptoms, or if the person generally has a slow heart rate without symptoms, it doesn't require treatment. When symptoms occur, common symptoms during a slow pulse include dizziness, fatigue, weakness, fainting, syncope, shortness of breath, chest pain, confusion, or palpitations. To measure the pulse, place your index and middle fingers on the inside of the wrist, below the thumb. When you feel the pulse, Count it for 30 seconds and multiply by 2. In aged individuals, especially after 60, the pulse can decrease due to the degeneration of the heart's electrical system, which creates the heartbeat. Medications are another common cause of a slow heart rate, particularly high blood pressure medications like beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Other heart medications like digoxin and antiarrhythmic drugs, as well as antidepressants like amitriptyline, can also cause a slow heart rate. Hypothyroidism, where thyroxine production is decreased and body metabolism is slowed, can cause a slow heart rate. Sleep apnea also causes a slow heart rate over time. During sleep, heartbeats may stop, leading to hypoxia, which causes sympathetic activation and a fast heart rate. However, this is followed by compensatory parasympathetic nervous system activation, causing a slow heart rate and slow pulse during the day. Heart diseases, most commonly coronary heart disease, can cause a slow heart rate. Reduced blood flow to the heart muscle due to blocked arteries can damage the sinoatrial node, where the heart's electrical impulse is created, leading to bradycardia. This usually happens after a heart attack when scar tissue forms in the heart. Sick sinus syndrome, SSS, is another common cause of a slow heart rate, especially in older adults. It is the dysfunction of the sinoatrial, SA, node, which is responsible for initiating the electrical impulses that regulate heartbeats. This dysfunction can lead to various heart rhythm problems, including bradycardia, sometimes normal heart rhythm and sometimes alternating periods of bradycardia and fast heart rate called tachycardia. Another cause of a slow heart rate is atrioventricular, AV, block. The AV node acts as a bridge between the atria, where the impulse is initiated, and the ventricles, where the impulse is spread. First-degree AV block doesn't cause symptoms or bradycardia. However, second-degree AV block, specifically Mobitz II, causes significant bradycardia. Third-degree AV block, which involves complete dissociation between atrial and ventricular activity, causes severe bradycardia. In this case, the ventricles beat independently at a slower rate, typically adopting an escape rhythm of 20 to 40 beats per minute due to the lack of conduction from the atria. Both sick sinus syndrome and second- and third-degree AV blocks require treatment. How to treat a slow pulse in cases of a very prominent slow pulse Pacemaker implantation is a very effective treatment, especially during AV blocks and sick sinus syndrome. Dietary measures, caffeine, found in coffee, energy drinks, and dark chocolate, caffeine can increase heart rate and pulse. Typically, 100 to 200 mg is enough to increase heart rate and pulse, with one cup of coffee containing around 95 mg. Capsaicin the active component in spicy foods can temporarily increase heart rate by stimulating the release of adrenaline. Salty foods, processed foods, salty snacks, and fast food can increase blood pressure and heart rate due to excessive sodium content. Supplements, caffeine supplements, can increase pulse. Ephedrine, found in decongestants and weight loss medications, can increase pulse. Yohimbine, Extract from the yohimbine tree, 
used in supplements for weight loss or erectile dysfunction, increases heart rate and blood flow. Pacemaker details. A pacemaker is typically implanted just under the skin near the collarbone, usually on the left side of the chest. Leads and wires are then threaded through veins into the heart. The battery of a pacemaker usually lasts between 5 to 15 years, depending on the device type and usage. The pacemaker monitors the heart's electrical activity and sends electrical impulses to stimulate the heart to beat at a normal rate when it detects an abnormal heart rate, too slow, too fast, or irregular. Emergency medications, atropine, administered intravenously to acutely increase heart rate. Dopamine and epinephrine can also be used in emergency situations intravenously. Diagnostic tools electrocardiogram ECG helps define a slow heart rate and its underlying cause. Holter monitor, a portable device worn for 24 to 48 hours that records continuous ECG readings, helping to identify intermittent slow heart rates. If a patient experiences severe symptoms like syncope or severe chest pain, immediate medical attention is necessary. Prolonged untreated bradycardia can lead to heart failure, and in severe cases, especially with complete heart block, the risk of sudden cardiac arrest increases.